the position of the Federal Executive Council is that most of the demands that the protesters, protesters are making are actually being addressed by the federal government. And therefore, um, it is the view of government that there is really no need for the protest again. Indeed, the president is already protesting on their behalf by doing those things that they want a government to do. Uh, for example, the effort that government is making in ensuring that food is being made available. There is also rice that is being sold at about 50% uh, of its cost. Centers have been created so that those who need this rice can go there and buy this rice at 40,000 Naira. In the first instance, about 10 trucks have been made available to each of these states. Government has not pretended that uh, these supplies are indeed enough, but these are necessary first steps that are being made. Meanwhile, the President of the Senate, Gertrude Lakwabio, has appealed to Nigerians not to be misled to join the planned protest as the government is doing what it should for the country. Speaking in the State House, the federal lawmaker added that the situation on ground is not caused by this administration and that the President has risen to the occasion. Are we good? So I want to use this opportunity to call on those who are attempting to foment trouble that is, you have a right to protest. It's your fundamental right. It is there in the constitution, but you don't have a right to destabilize the country. A right to protest should not be turned into a right to unleash violence. It's very clear that people who are already, it's already very amorphous, very faceless. So what it means is that people are preparing to loot and go around and do all sorts of things. Where we are today was not cause by one year's administration. It is the outcome of years of insecurity. Many people could not go to farms for almost 10 years and all that, and the president has risen to the occasion. I'm excited that, yes, indeed, the government is doing what it should. And we, the leaders in the National Assembly, we are touching at various constituencies. So my appeal to the Nigerian youth is do not allow any group to mislead you politically. People who probably do not have their fortunes in 2023 election are thinking they can come to the back door. That will amount to anarchy. Any destruction of any property will cost Nigeria money. And we don't have the money. Instead, let's put the money in developing you and de developing your environment instead of going to rebuild.